of course, one of the most popular things is let's cut uh, cups up and make either three-dimensional flowers, uh, 3D artworks for hanging on the wall, or, or little mini vertical oh, gardens. Ceramic. This is my most popular cut, always, for a cup. Because I don't like to use dremels or saws, they just uh, freak me out. So it's what I can do with these. I always try my first cut to try and get one in half. Sometimes I'm lucky and sometimes I'm not. So you can see here, I've already got a, a couple of different cuts from the same type of mug. So let's have a look at, I'm going to try and make some 3D petals. So let's see if I can cut this one in half. Keeping fingers crossed, it's always the aim. So about where I want it to cut in half, so this one's got a nice straight line on it, I'll go for that. Gritting teeth, very important to grit your teeth as you go for the big cut. Well, that's cut even more differently. So we'll definitely be making flowers out of this one, 3D flower. So the way to go on these, I'll cut this amazing handle off, is to cut around the cup so you've got a nice uh, curve for your petals. And a big thank you to Rosalind for showing us how to do this. So I'm going to cut across there to see if I can make some sort of petal shape with a curve. Definitely some sort of petal shape here. So I want to um, nip that off so that it's a nice shape for a petal. So I'm just going to nip around that. Says I to myself, says I. So I'm, I'm really... Um, working quite hard with the nippers here. If your hands are strong, you won't have an issue. We are with the weak old hands that find this sort of cutting a bit challenging. Because this has got such a big curve on it, I might be um, wanting to do some smaller petals to go with it. But we'll see what pops out as we chop up this cup. So I'm going round or maybe down. Let's have a, a go at down because this is going to make some really lovely petals. So of course we know we want a pointy bit and a wide bit. So let's see what I get from here. Oh, that's going to be a lovely shape petal. So that's all ready to go. Oops. In there. So I think I'll proceed with just chopping this um, piece of cup up. And you can see how the 3D effect is taking shape already with my accidentally cut in half cup and a few petals made out of the other one that didn't cut. I found for this cup because it was um, quite a quite a small in terms of circumference. Cutting down the cup uh, seemed to help a little, little better. So sort of cutting down at an angle to get the petals that you want. So I'll start from the top, of course, and it's going to be weird shapes, but that's going to make the petals. And um, it really did seem to go better than um, around because it was such a tight circumference. So I'm angling down this way and this way Oops. to get those nice uh, round bits. So you get a nice shape like this, rounded off for a beautiful petal. Pretty good. Pop it into my little flower over here. So I can have it as big or as small as I want it to be. Cute. I'm quite liking that effect. And of course, you increase the 3D when you glue it by putting in um, little props 
or extra glue and glue it as a 3D item. But we'll look at that as a separate um, activity. I quite like this. Hmm, creative juices are flowing now. That's great. So I'll um, continue on chopping away with these couple of cups. So that's just one cup so far. And um, now I think I absolutely have to be distracted and make this up because I'm pretty excited. Hopefully um, you'll go away and get excited about some cups as well um, and see what you come up with. I will film the, the demo of uh, me attempting to glue my th first lot of 3D flowers using silicon glue because most people actually use um, cement based adhesive but heck let's just try it and see what happens.